Hello everybody. Uh, I wish you got your men. So in the next uh, minutes we'll be dis discussing the SaaS business model, what, why, and how we have behind this business model. And uh, there will be two presentations in this talk because uh, there was a postponed presentation from yesterday. So it will be following from uh, after this presentation. It will be about the, the MVP. So firstly, we will start with the presentation about SaaS business model. So uh, short introduction. After introduction, uh, my name is Ayub. I'm a serial digital entrepreneur and I'm a SaaS and mobile apps uh, business enthusiast. I'm a manager of a digital solutions company who are working mainly on SaaS solutions and the mobile apps. Uh, I'm, I'm founding uh, or I found uh, many, many SaaS tools and then the, I, I run other business. So uh, firstly, let's start what what is a SaaS business model or a software as a service business model. Uh, it's a, it's a, simply, it's a it's any software that is uh, running on the cloud and offered uh, for the user over the internet or over the cloud. So it's offered for users as a as a service. Users uh, haven't to to mind about about the, the infrastructure, about the hardware, or about any 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 software uh, aspect. Uh, what what they mind for them is, is the service that is offered uh, over the cloud. So why SaaS business model mainly? It's uh, it's a model that is uh, it can be used anywhere, anytime, or on, on any device. If there is no maintenance. There is nothing to install or deploy. There is automated uh, updates. There is uh, uh, low and uh, uh, in majority of time no upfront costs. And there is the user uh, flexibility. So let's take some of the most popular uh, SaaS providers out there like Netflix, Shopify, Spotify, uh, Dropbox, uh, Google Suite. Uh, those uh, are, are all uh, software as a service providers. And if we are showing this number, which is uh, uh, 25,000, which is the number of SaaS companies that are existing till uh, 2021. And if this number is telling us something, is, is, is telling us that, that this, this is a, a still virgin field. Uh, there is, and from these 25,000 uh, SaaS companies, there is, there is like about uh, 7,000 companies just in the marketing field. So it's, uh, it's uh, still a very, very virgin uh, field. So for the SaaS architecture, there is mainly two architecture. There is the single tenancy and multi tenancy. Uh, there is some hybrid uh, model between them, but mainly there are there are two 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 uh, tenancy models. The, in the single tenancy, you are creating uh, an instance of the application for every user, while in the multi tenancy model, we have one instance of the application that is shared between all the users. So for the SaaS revenue models or pricing models, we have uh, multiple models. Mainly, there is subscription models for for uh, for uh, uh, periodically. There is the usage-based uh, pricing or uh, the pay-as-you-go model. There is the one-time license model where where user pay one time for for the software. There is the premium model where we are offering a free plan with some features. Uh, and uh, there is uh, some other uh, revenue models, but uh, are those the, 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 the principal uh, revenue models for us? So to, to, to do it quickly and to, to be more clear uh, on how to start a SaaS business model, we will do it through a, a question answer uh, uh, part. So the first question that, that came uh, to the mind is how to find SaaS idea and uh, I, I love to call it pain or problem because idea are, uh, are everywhere. What matters it is, is there a problem uh, or, or a pain? So uh, what we can do, we can, we can start by looking for, uh, for ourselves problem, our family problem, our friends pain uh, and, and problems and complexities and look around us. And uh, I always say that uh, the best problem we can solve is our problem because, because uh, the, the being expert in a problem uh, is, is, a, is already a, a benefit. Then there is also the repetitive task. We can, uh, we can take some repetitive tasks and try to automate them through, through a, a tool or a SaaS tool. 
uh, we can even uh, do uh, cloning and clone existing softwares and being competitive on price or futures like uh, we will take a, a ready-made software and we will clone the same software but uh, we will try to add more futures or lower the price or sometimes just changing the UX and changing the appearance uh, will let you competitive in this, in this uh, area. Also we can, we can take uh, simply a, a process that is, uh, that is uh, done in, in, uh, in 10 clicks or 15 clicks and we create a tool that lets us do this process in, in one, uh, two or, or, or three clicks. But the most important things in, in, uh, in finding a SAS pain or, 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 or problem is to have an entrepreneurial mindset. Uh, and by that uh, I mean to look for pain and problem in every, everything you do in your real life. Like you are in the, in the DevOps conference, maybe in a discussion with, with a developer, you, you, will, uh, you will discover that there is uh, uh, maybe a, a pain you can reduce through, through a tool. So you, you have always this, this uh, problem challenging mindset and entrepreneurial mindset where, where you are just searching problem. You, you are loving to, to, to find problem because, because it's an opportunity for you to, to create solution and to, to create tools. Then there is the question to uh, an important things about, about uh, SaaS area or SaaS field is the unique, your unique selling proposition or unique value proposition, which is a clear statement that describes the benefits of your, of your offer, how you solve your customer uh, needs or, uh, and problems, and uh, importantly, what distinguishes you from, uh, from the competition. And to understand, there is some example of USP or UVP, like for Domino's Pizza, uh, their USP is you got fresh pizza, hot, uh, you got fresh hot pizza delivered to your door in 30 minutes or less, or it's free. Then also for Shopify, it's uh, the USP for Shopify is anyone, anywhere can start a business. And if you want to take a Moroccan startup, you can say for you can, there is no, no sales, no charge. Those are some USP that try to, to attract uh, customers. The next question is the uh, what tech stack to use, and this is really really a, a, a popular question in the in the SaaS field. Uh, but uh, I really uh, ask you, uh, advise you, or uh, I I beg you, to, beg you to 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 forget about the tech stack because in SaaS and especially in the uh, the early stage. The, the, the technology doesn't matter at all. Uh, at early start, the time to market, the how fast are you going to market, the, the, the when to go to market, that's what's important. Uh, what you are building or how you are building it or how, what technology are you using, it doesn't matter at all. The, the why behind your product, the why you are building your product, the why user will be using your product, this is what, what matters the most. And uh, uh, I invite you to, to join uh, the next session of JLL. We will be talking about the no code. I'm 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 a very lover of, of the no code because it's it's uh, it's something that lets you go to market as soon as possible, as fast as possible. So there is some uh, some keywords like proof of concept, prototype, MVP. Uh, we will be defining them in the in the next pre presentation about uh, the MVP. But uh, but as a short definition, the, the proof of concept is the first step where, where we are we are talking the, the feasibility, the technical feasibility of the idea. While the prototype is we are uh, we are uh, trying to, to discover how the, the, the tool will will be filling, how the it's, it's mainly related to the UI and UX of, of the, the tool. While in the MVP we are more uh, focusing or on the, on the, the user feedback. So what matter the most when we are building when when we have a product we put the product on the market. Uh, I, I I I always say the feedback and feedback and feedback. It's because they, they are the fuel and they are the input that that uh, let your your uh, let you enter this continuous improvement wheel and uh, and uh, improve your products uh, incrementally and iter uh, iteratively. So you. When you have feedback, you have a powerful uh, weapon that lets you uh, improve your product based, based on, on, on the market uh, requirement. So uh, one of the, the most important questions is how to bring uh, first users. 
and there is no one formula on, on how to be uh, how to get pursuers. There is a, a, a dozen of, of marketing strategies and marketing effort. You should all you should try one uh, one by one, so you you get the, the the channel that will will drive traffic to your SaaS, and then you you can focus on this on this channel. So um, some of the on the of the marketing efforts you can you can uh, done or strategies. There is a lifetime deals. There is SEO. There is Facebook groups, Reddit, and other communities. There is affiliate programs. There is the paid traffic or social media advertising, and I prefer to to leash the the paid traffic as the last step. Uh, try firstly the, the organic channels, and uh, also you can try the email marketing and cold email uh, uh, outreach. There is a uh, one important point to to take in consideration. Always try to to publish your your tool on on. Uh, Directories uh, like Product Hunt, Vitalis, VitaPage, Early Bird, and similars, uh, because they, they, they help in, in visibility at, at the, the early stage. Uh, also, add your product to review websites like uh, Captura, Trustpilot, and uh, other uh, review tools. Uh, maybe you want to build a community around your, your product and try to give value, give first help users, be because this community may be your early adopters and maybe your, your, your first. Uh, entry point to, to the market. So there is also, uh, when we are on the market, we should keep an A of uh, some important metrics and KPIs. And uh, mainly there is a lot of, of KPIs. Uh, some of them are the, the cost of acquisition of customer. There is the churn rate of customer and revenue. It's I mean how, how much revenue or how much uh, customer I'm losing month by month or year by year. Uh, there is the lifetime value of, uh, of customers, there is the monthly recurring revenue or uh, uh, annually recurring revenue, and this is uh, when you are uh, uh, picking a, a subscription business uh, a revenue model. So, for the takeaways of this, of this presentation, I would say don't make money your main concern, master a skill, provide a value uh, or solution for a problem or reduce a pain, think on giving first, and uh, money will follow because when we are discussing value with people uh, reducing their pain uh, fixing their problems uh, absolutely they will be paying for for our tools but if we are trying to to, to sell from the beginning the, the, we, are, we are losing the deal from the beginning the second takeaway is don't try to make barriers at the early stage and saying that they will clone or copy my software they will uh, make a, a similar software uh, once I'm on the market, they will copy it because if even if they will clone your your software, they can't clone your execution. You can they can't clone your your uh, daily improvements on, on on the software. They can't clone your uh, the feedback and the, the talks you you get with uh, with customers. And this is uh, an entry barrier uh, for them. So for the last takeaway, I uh, say always that uh, developers have a, a a secret and a strong weapon. That, that is their skills. Because with our skills, even we are salaries, employees, uh, students, uh, we have this opportunity to, to go to the market with a product, with just our skills, because we can, we can fix a lot of problems, we can reduce a lot of pain, just with the skills and technology we are using. And this is a, a, a weapon that lets us say that we have never to, to underestimate what, what we can achieve, where we can arrive, uh, what we can be and uh, please please I would say always to cheat build and uh, try to go to the market wherever you are wherever uh, uh, you have it's, it's, uh, it's a, a business model that lets you access the market with, with uh, no upfront cost or, or a very very low cost so thank you we will move to the next presentation quickly so we can uh, we can uh, be in time.